You're back on Time Warner Cable's local edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joined today by Jerome Horton. He is the chair of California's Board of Equalization. And sir, I'm surprised I'm speaking with you about guns and gun rights and gun violence because I wouldn't expect that a taxing agency would have involvement in the gun rights debate, but it does here in California. Yes, well, thank you, Brad, for having me. Please. It does. There's a proposal in the legislature to require that every bullet be taxed an additional five cents. In addition to the sales in tax. In addition to the sales tax, wow. in addition to the income tax right. and all the other taxes, right. they want to tax every bullet additional five cents, which for a box of bullets is somewhere around two dollars and fifty cents. Not a lot of money, arguably. Yes. And what would what would happen with that money? Well the money would be used to mitigate the negative impacts of guns, which, mm -hmm. you know, to the extent that gun owners uh, should be responsible citizens and should contribute to the negative aspect of guns, mm -hmm. I believe that's the case. Will, will it modify behavior? You know, insanity is doing the same thing, expecting different right. results. It right? is. Crazy is. people are going to continue to do crazy things. This is a mental illness right. that's out there. We need to begin to deal with so those the, issues. The question is, and I know that you're not in the legislature anymore, so you can't, yes. but, but could that money go toward mental health programs? Because Look, so much of what we see is these individuals that commit these heinous acts, you know, we, we despise them for what they've done, but clearly there's a mental impairment there. There is, there is, and we need to do something about that. And we need to have some sort of funding that reflects the sense of responsibility. And there needs to be a national registry right. where, there, where everyone that has a gun, we know about it. I right. mean, the, the reality is if you put a gun in a room, uh -huh. Something can happen. No doubt. And so you put a gun in a room, you put a nut in a room with that gun, right. something is highly possible. But to I must say, you know, California, you know, you look at the maps that are printed in print publications and you see the darker colors have the most restrictive gun laws. Yes. And California is always the darkest. Yes. And for some, that's a net positive. But look, we are a very diverse state and there are interests in the state that would like to see the Second Amendment protected um, in a very specific way. So is California going too far to the other side of the gun rights debate? Well, Brad, I think everyone believes and supports the Second Amendment. And, and, but they also believe, there are those of us who believe right. that you have to be responsible. Right. And so it's measuring that responsibility. Are they responsible for people that are insane, go out and do insane things? No. Right. But it's a result of their freedoms. And, and every freedom that we have, we have to pay for it. No. I mean, it's just a natural uh, look, there's no You thing. can't yell fire in right. a crowded theater. I mean, that's a First Amendment issue. But you can't do it. But you can't do it. But, but again, I keep thinking about the fact that it's easy for us in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. um, in large urban markets, to talk about how we need to limit access to guns, but our friends in rural counties in other parts of California may not feel that way. And mm -hmm. so I'm just wondering if we're looking at this through this prism of urban America, when there are a lot of folks that are Californians just like us mm -hmm. that don't see it the same way. Well, what we find, Brad, is that mm -hmm. a lot of that is happening in urban, rural sort of areas, right. areas that are so small in population that you would think it would never happen. Right. Because they, they well, have Newton, guns. Well, Newton, Connecticut. They Newtown, use, Connecticut. Exactly. I mean, that was not, I mean, it's near New York City, but it really it's was It's not rural. New York City. It was, mm -hmm. it was, and so I don't think that argument holds, holds you know, it's, I it's legit. I think you have to be responsible. You want to carry a gun. You want to have access to a gun. You need to be responsible. And it's a broad responsibility. I mean, we are all responsible for the freedom. Many of our kids actually go to war and fight in order to us to have no, freedom. I understand. I mean, the least that they could do is, is control these guns, monitor them, and make sure that they're held responsible. Okay. His name is Jerome Horton. He is chair of California's Board of Equalization. I'm Brad Palmer. Thanks so much for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.